Hey guys, I am here with my weekly What Sold video. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet and all of my social media platforms. And I put out these What Sold videos every Friday to let you know what I sold this past week on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Mostly, sometimes I have other sales on other sites and I usually will put them in just depending on if I had any. So next Friday though, if you are a normal subscriber, it might be a different type of video because we're gonna be out of town and there's no way for me to film a what sold video on vacation. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. And plus my Poshmark closet's gonna be on vacation. And then on eBay, I usually just change my shipping and handling time to like seven to 10 days. That way I can still make sales while I'm on vacation. So that's kind of nice. Um, I think I might have a couple boxes from a flip client that I could open up for you guys and do a video or I asked Ryan if he'd want to do a what sold video but he wasn't like super into that so <laughs> we'll see it'll be a surprise if you like reseller content like thrift hauls what sold videos mystery unboxings be sure to hit the subscribe button down below that way you get notifications oh I mean push the bell that way you get notifications every time I put out a new video give this one a thumbs up for me please I'm still trying to figure out Google AdSense because I feel like I got like one payout one time in like August and now I'm not making any money so I don't know if I'm still not meeting this monthly threshold that I need to meet but if you guys are YouTube creators that make money monthly from Google AdSense and you could possibly answer some questions message me on Instagram because I'm trying to figure out like what's going on or if I'm doing something wrong I don't know I'm just kind of clueless so we're gonna go into this week it is from Friday or Saturday I guess actually October 21st to Friday, October 28th. Um, sales have been decent. My eBay sales kind of dipped. I don't really know what's going on because they were super strong for a while. I still have my 20% off sale going on. So I'm still liking that. It just was kind of slow for a couple of days. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to start with eBay. I sold this Free People Ivory High Hopes cardigan sweater in a size extra small. This sold for $20. Next was a Cacique which is like a plus size from Lane Bryant. Beige, lightly lined, no wire bra, size 42G. That sold for $23.10. I sold this Michael Michael Kors brown leather chain handle crossbody purse. This sold for $40 along with this Kate Spade patent leather chain handle purse for $31. It was the same buyer. She asked me to ship them together. Um, I think one was from a flip lot and one was from a ThreadUp name brand handbag rescue box. Next were a pair of Prana pants. These were the Helena pant gray size 10. They sold for 20. I sold another Kate Spade black leather hobo purse. This sold for 32.70. Next was a pair of Athleta green salutation stash pocket capri leggings. These were in a size medium and they sold for $20.70. I sold this Banana Republic mustard yellow wrap top. This only sold for $9. I got a bunch of stuff back recently from some thread up consignments that they never accepted and so I've just been listing it really low because it's stuff that kind of retails high but doesn't resell for me very well so that's why I was sending it to thread up some of it I could see why they didn't accept it because it came back and I was like oops there's a little stain here or a little hole or something like that this one didn't have any issues but I'm just listing it like super cheap basically just to get my money back or make like a couple bucks because it's not something I'm interested in just holding forever uh, next was a brand called Gudrun Shoden. I don't know. Um, if you guys watched my last haul video, I'll link it up here. I found tons of pieces of this at the thrift store. This is the first one to sell. It's definitely a Bolo brand. They sold for $50. It was a pair of Chevron linen pants. So that's great. Next was a pair of Maurice's jeans. These were mid-rise medium wash. I would never typically get these, but my friend gave me a bunch of clothes and shoes to sell for her. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and they sold for $17. I sold this J. Crew black long line sweater cardigan in an extra small very, very quickly within a day for $32.70. Next was a New With Tags Merci Catalina coral sweater. This was also in my last haul. I think I could have got more for this, but with my vacation coming up, I'm like, you know what? I am just going to take an offer. It was $45. It was still great. I still made a profit, so I went ahead and did that. Next was the brand Torrid. This was a blue zip front shirt in a size 2X. And it sold very quickly within a day for $16. I sold this soft surrounding striped floral embroidered tunic top in a size medium for $20. Next was a vintage Y2K bodycon dress 
It kind of reminded me of like Ed Hardy style. It was kind of hideous, but it did sell for $19 within a week or two, so that's great. It was really lightweight. Next were a pair of Joe's jeans. These were the mid-rise casual icon jeans in a size 29. I have had these for quite a while, but they did sell for $24.70, so I don't know though if I would really be picking them up that much. Uh, next, Vintage Dooney & Burke Pink Leather Beach Umbrella Summer Purse. This sold for $29.99. I got this a long time ago in a Thread Up Name brand handbag box. I thought it would do better than this, but it's not. That's okay. Um, another item from one of those Thread Up like returns that they didn't accept. It was the brand Alberto Macaulay. This was a white black lace long sleeve top. Sold for $10. Um, it did, that one I don't think had any issues. Um, next was a pair of Levi's. These were the 7-Eleven skinny jeans. Can you hear that noise? My nephew's upstairs taking a shower and it's like the water's coming down through the pipes in the basement. Hopefully that's not too annoying. Levi's 7-Eleven skinny jeans, size 32, sold for $20. Next were a pair of Clark's. These came in a flip lot a while ago. They were some Oxford's men's, size 7. They sold for $32.70. This is another item that I had sent to thread up that they returned to me. It was a pair of Bandolino red vegan leather heels size 8. They sold for $16.70. I sold this Victoria's Secret animal print push-up bra in a size 38D. That sold for $20.70. Next was a smart wool sweater. I picked this up and it sold within a day or two pretty quickly. It was pretty old. I think almost 10 years old, um, but that really didn't matter. It was a size large and it sold for $40.70. Next was a vintage Coret, K-O-R-E-T, beach sweater. Um, it's a beach sweater vest. I had like a scene in there with sand, ocean, umbrellas. It sold for $18. I sold this North Face purple mock neck pullover sweatshirt in a size medium. This came in a flip lot and that sold for $15. Next was a Torrid bra. It was a pink school floral front clasp bra in a size 40 triple D and that sold for $15. I sold these New With Tags Cloud Steppers by Clark's Celian Dusk Black Boots in a size 8. They sold for $60.70. That was also through the Global Shipping Program. Next was a Catherine's Velvet Crushed Plus Size Top. This, I meant to write Crushed Velvet. I guess I mixed that up. Anyway, that sold for $23.10 within hours. I'm telling you, Catherine sells great for me. <laughs> uh, 3X and bigger, especially. Next, Prana Plaid Checkered Lined Shacket Outdoor Trail Hiking, size large, sold for $20. Coach Penelope Beige Tote Leather Designer Purse, sold for $29. Next were a pair of Bowden Pants. These were the Black Tuxedo Striped Skinny Pants in a size 8 long, sold for $24.70. I sold this Sundance Top. It was a white cotton sleeveless wrap top in a size large. That sold for $15. And that is it for eBay, guys. So, like I said, not horrible, not my best. Let's move on to Mercari. I think Mercari was pretty lame per usual. Hey, I did sell this Hannah Anderson little girl swimsuit. I got these at the bins when I was in Kansas City, so it was super lightweight and it sold for $16. Next was a pair of Everlane black pull-on pants. They were in a size six and they sold for 33. I sold this vintage Halloween sweater vest cheaper than I normally would only because I listed it Monday or Tuesday and I knew that I needed to list it low to get it out quick before Halloween was over So I took an offer of $22 um, This one actually was a pretty good sale Dansko Franca black leather wedge. They sold for 55. So that was amazing Next was a Ted Baker ivory tank top. This was a thread up return It had multiple stains that somehow I didn't see when I sent to them and that sold for 10 uh, Next was a pair of Allegria Emma bronze um, clogs. Sorry, I don't know why I was messing up. They were in a size 5. They took quite a while to sell and they only sold for 18. And then I sold these Ariat Kids Black Leather Boots and those sold for 30. Those also came from the bins. They were also pretty beat up. But sometimes those Western brands and shoes can just still do fine just because they're going to be outside and get worn and used a lot anyway. Let's go to Poshmark last. I just this morning as I was walking down here sold these pair of Bowden loafers. These were black. Peggy is the style, size 42, and they sold for $27. Next was a pair of DL 1961 dark wash cropped jeans for eight. <laughs> Pretty sad. I've had those for a really long time. Pathetic. 
Another thing I've had for a really long time, a lot of three Columbia hiking outdoor trail pants and Bermuda shorts. They were on a size 16 and I thought, great, I'll just lot them all together. No, they took forever to sell. They finally all sold for $36, which is not bad. I just like, whoa, why did it take so long? Next was a vintage Rugrats Nickelodeon twin bedding sheet. Uh, it was just one sheet. It sold for 10. I don't know. I just thought it was cute at the thrift store and I picked it up really cheap. So I made a few bucks. Next were a pair of Madewell classic straight jeans in a size 31. These came to me from a flip lot and they sold for $42. This next brand was the brand Grayers. G-R-A-Y-E-R-S. I got this flannel at the Kansas City bins. It was a men's a blue extra large. It sold for $25. Next was a pair of Rails pants. I have gone back to my normal keyword full titles on Poshmark since it seemed like they were going back to their old algorithm, but some stuff is still selling with the simple titles like that. These were a pair of like lounge pants in a size extra large and they sold for $45, so that's amazing. Next were a pair of Adidas shoes. These were new. These came to me from my brother-in-law. He works at a hotel in downtown Omaha and every once in a while there will be stuff in the lost and found that he thinks could be worth it for me to resell, so he gave them to me. And they sold for $34. Next were a pair, not a pair, next were two free people items. One was an ivory white thermal and another one was like a light gray ribbed thermal. Those both sold together for $30.60. I sold this pair of J slides. They were the Annabelle black velvet bow slip on sneakers and they sold for $21. Next was a pair of Levi's 535 super skinny jeans. They were faux leather front burgundy color sold for $13. I sold a spiritual gangster purple sweatshirt. It had the word gratitude here on the chest and that sold for 24. Next was a soft surroundings orange blue sweater. This had cashmere and wool blend, which made it a little more easier to sell, but it still only sold for $21. That's okay. I paid three bucks for it. Um, another Bolo brand, this is the brand Kizik. I found these at a Play-Doh's closet when I was in Kansas City for a tournament for $14 and they sold for 55. I definitely saw comps higher than that, but I was having slow sales and so I decided just to take it. Um, American Eagle Dark Wash Original Straight Jeans Men's $8. Pretty sad. Athleta Headlands Hybrid Trek Women's Jogger Pants in a size 2 sold for $20. Another pair of Levi's jeans. I can't see the style without clicking into it. Here we go. 720 High Rise Super Skinny. They sold for 14. Next was a pair of Lululemon gray space dye mid-rise athletic workout leggings, size two, sold for 26. That was from a flip lot. This Catherine's hoodie sold super quick. It was just like a basic purple fleece. It wasn't a size 5X and it sold for 18. Next was a sale from a viewer. So thank you so much. I'm thank you. spacing out on your name right now. If I find it when I go back, I'll insert it here. But she bought this LL Beam Buffalo plaid jacket from me which ended up having a tear, so it was listed super cheap, but we added in a price for something of Ryan's from his last haul. He got a um, Madewell, like little checkered plaid top that was super cute. So she bought both of those for $24. Next were a pair of boyfriend jeans. That's the title, let me see. The brand was Pistola, size 30. I know some people say they can do great with that brand, but I don't, so I just like don't pick it up. Um, that only sold for $14, if I didn't say that. I think I did. Next was a Coach Black Monogram Small Cosmetic Makeup Pouch Bag. I think this came in a Coach Thread Up Rescue Box. Sold for 16. I sold this vintage BB, Bebe, how do you say that? Tie-dye Bling Spell Out Top and it sold for 15. Next was an Adidas T-Row Woven Ruched Pants in a size small for 13. Another item from those Thread Up Returns, Banana Republic Navy Blue Gray Wool Cashmere blend sweater sold for 10 and the last thing was this pair of Lane Bryant jeans these were the high-rise jeggings plus size 20 they were a pull-on style which I feel like does good even I like those and they sold for $18 so those are my sales guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having a good week when is this video coming out today I'm trying to film a bunch of videos um, so I can have three videos scheduled when I'm gone on my trip or all of them, I guess. So I'm just like confused of like what I'm filming, and what I'm putting out. But this is actually Friday that I'm filming this. This is current. I have my boys last tournament this week and then guess what happened to me? Twisted my ankle, 
last night, they're like, oh, let's have a coaches game. Okay, great. So I'm just playing with a bunch of random coaches that I don't know. I was being the setter. If you know anything about volleyball, like the setter has the second ball. And I even called it like five times. And this freaking girl would still not get out of my way. And then I stepped on her foot and just like rolled my ankle. And I was like, ah, oh. especially because we're leaving for our trip Sunday. So like, if you wouldn't mind praying that it would heal like super, super quickly, because literally all you do in that vacation is walk like over 20,000 steps a day. I really hope it gets better. I've sprained this ankle a lot, like tons of times, and it's not as bad as I've had before. I can still put some weight on it. It's just not like completely normal. So I'm hoping if I just like take it easy these next couple days, Saturday or Friday and Saturday, we leave Sunday morning, that it'll be good. So we'll see. Please pray for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday. I do have a thread up rescue box video coming out. I think it is a active wear box. So make sure you come back for that. And that's it guys. Bye.